Hi, welcome to Creatively You, Scrawls and Scribbles 2. In the last Scrawls and Scribbles video, we talked about creating a scribble drawing and about how we can make it solely scribbles or embed pictures inside. In this video, we'll be exploring how to create an actual drawing, a landscape in this case, although you can apply the principles to anything that you want to, with scribbles. It's kind of like you're designing your own adult coloring page. So as you can see, I started the piece by forming a tree, solely out of scribbles. Because of the nature of the piece, I'm not too concerned about making it really realistic. It's obvious, hopefully, that it's a tree, and that's really all I'm aiming for here, so there's no need to be too careful. Now I'm adding a second tree, and a couple of bushes, And this third tree is actually going to be a different type of tree from the first two, just to add a bit of variety and visual interest. Now that my main subjects are finished, I'm going to add the background scribbles. You'll notice that they're a little bit looser than the ones I used to create the trees and the bushes. And this is mainly because I want to be able to differentiate my trees and bushes from the background when it's time to add color in. So, following along the theme of not being too realistic, I've started coloring this tree using cooler colors rather than the expected um, you know, green, yellow, reds, oranges, or browns. Uh, it gives it more of an abstract, whimsical feel. Feel free to go in after you finish the scribbles and add in more deliberately if you find that some of your spaces are larger than you'd like, or if there are ends or areas that you'd like to close up. So at this point, I'm going to add in some more expected tree colors, like the yellow. You'll notice I haven't done anything wacky with the tree trunk. It's just, you know, your browns and blacks, that kind of thing. I want the next tree to be markedly different from the first so that they will both stand out. So for this one, I've opted on warmer colors that do show up on some trees in the fall. And as you can see, I'm adding in the greens. Now, here I am again, adding more scribbles, closing up some gaps. With the third tree, I've gone back primarily to the cooler colors once again. And again, this just makes it stand out from the one in the middle. Now, after finishing the trees, I've realized that I don't actually want the bushes in the picture anymore because any color I use on them is going to either melt too much with the trees or with the background. So I'm going to treat the bushes as part of the background and they'll disappear. And I've decided to use mainly yellows, oranges, and light reds for the background. Because I have these, some of these colors, or sorry, I do have these colors in the trees also, um, you'll notice I'm taking care to use a lighter touch so that the background is less saturated than the foreground and the foreground will continue to show up more. There you are! I could potentially color the bottom green right where the base of the tree trunks are. I haven't signed my name to this, but don't forget to sign yours, wherever you feel works best. And also remember to date your piece. As always, thanks so much for joining me. If you do create your own Scrawls and Scribbles art, I would love to see it. Feel free to post it to my Facebook page at Webster Art Gallery. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. 
want exclusive member content and